We didn't even make playoffs last split. Right. And I felt like, dude, what the hell? Like, we didn't even make playoffs? Like, this is yeah. when we were supposed to play the best League of Legends. This is where it actually matters. Yeah. Because whether you're third or sixth, ultimately it doesn't matter that much. Like, this yeah. kind of stuff. And then you're like, oh, let's try this draft on stage. Let's try this. Like, try something we're not that good at. So we make the enemy team scared of, like, a certain composition. All this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. But now I was like, dude, we gotta win. Yeah, we like, gotta win. Bring the big guns. Like, yeah. do everything you can to win. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's like... You, you this interview is brought to you by Trolley Gummy Worms. Do you want one? I'm okay, thank you. That's right, Sugar Rush might get you yeah. a headache. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm already uh, high on adrenaline and all this. <laughs> uh, Banger here with 100 Thieves. Did you know the stakes of this game? Are you guys aware of like... E locking playoffs? That Yeah. yeah. The, the, the stakes were pretty high. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, honestly, like... I guess it depends on the next couple of days, but technically the stakes might have been very low because yeah. if IMT and Fly lose a couple of games, we make playoffs anyway. Right. But also, you know, if we're trying to aim for top six, the stakes are really, really high because if we lose a single game, there's I think no shot. Correct. Yeah. So yeah, I felt it feels like I always like this kind of setting for a team because your playoff starts before playoffs start. Yeah. And so it gives you the opportunity to like ramp up into it. And so as teams are like, oh, we're going to playoffs, you're like, we've been in playoffs. Literally, like, that's that's how we're feeling right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, talk me through this game with 100 Thieves. It felt like you had, you had control and then. Oh my God. Okay. And yeah. then it dragged out. Like Baron, like what's Baron? Baron buff obviously didn't help that much. Well, what's going on? Come on. Yeah, so we're winning really, really hard. Yeah. And we're just giving the enemy team too many opportunities. Yeah. We're not pulling a trigger fast enough, we're not snowballing fast enough. So it's kind of like, I think at like 15, 20 minutes, we're 5k up yeah. and we get nothing for like 10 minutes besides like some useless dragons because yeah, it's also the worst dragon in the game. Yeah. So it just feels like we're pretty much just like not playing the macro game very well. Like it should be very easy for us to snowball this game into victory. Instead, it becomes this six item air one banger team fight that like anyone can win, which yeah. it feels really, really bad because it should have been a very easy win. And it was the same as last week when we had a really big lead on energy. We also managed to throw that game and we actually lost. So when we hit the mid late game and now it's like suddenly even, you're, you're kind of getting like flashbacks for like, oh my God, are we going to do this again? Like 5k up in 15 minutes or something, we again throw the game. Yeah. So I think there's a lot to take away from this game because all clearly we didn't fix our macro from the previous week. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we just got to keep drilling on it and buy playoffs. You know, it's not a lot of time left, yeah. uh, so we got to just clean it up, really. Who's controlling that? Who's who's leading the calls on that? Is it a you yeah. thing? Is it Poom? Is it I mean, I think Jensen? I think it'll, most people chime in, mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of like we're making plans, and then I think we're just mis-executing where we're moving on the map individually and that kind of stuff, so it kind of becomes, hey, we're playing for top turret, and we say that at 15 minutes, then at 26 minutes, still, hey, we're playing for top turret, <laughs> because we're, we suddenly get that damn thing, you know? And it's, like, and it's like we were like making plans, but they're just not like coming together in the movement and how we're playing as a team, and I think, you know, also, Puma is actually very vocal, and he's like really. Uh, I like him a lot on the team, and it's been you know, he hasn't been here for that long yet, so we're still trying yeah. to like gel him into the team and yeah. stuff. But he, he's been a very like uh, I've been very happy with him, and he's really bringing like a big vocal voice. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's dive into that because this is Puma's first time with a different AD carry partner uh, from Luger in like what three years or something like that. Something like like it was that, a yeah. long partnership that he's had there. Uh, what are some of the? So you said vocally, that's great. So mm -hmm maybe taking the initiative to lead the conversations, but what else has he added and where are some of the pain points to like the, the gelling? I think he's, well, for the gelling pod, I guess I'll start with gelling pod. Sure. I actually think he's gelling really well. It's just like as a team, fundamentally, we're still not quite there in terms of like how we're rotating on the map. And okay. I think uh, just having a different voice always takes a little bit of time because like the, what you need to, what information you need to give in the game might change a little bit depending on what player you have. So like Puma is very vocal and he has, Honestly, like he brings a lot of really in good information, like good understanding of what we want to do as a team and also like what we're gonna play for, all this kind of stuff. So like yeah. I think he's honestly just making it easier for us, mm -hmm. but we're still messing up this goddamn <laughs> macro. So that's why like we really need to dive into it and like who is making the mistakes and like rotations and this kind of stuff. Because yeah. th that's just like, it's like so close, but it's not quite there. Like there's like a little, you know. Yeah, I mean, this, yeah. this is kind of <laughs> funny because I feel like so much of the time we hear, <laughs> oh, we need to communicate more? Or like someone needs to take the initiative and maybe it's me. Instead, you guys are like, oh no, we've called the play. We just <laughs> aren't doing what we say we're doing. Like that yeah. feels very weird. Or like one of us that one time, then we got to wait until they respawn. It's another minute. And then we got to set up the play. And then we call that we're going to do it. And then someone else dies. And next thing you know, 
the tower's been up for 25 minutes, right? Yeah, because last week, that was kind of what, like, I think gelling from last week to this week has been a big improvement, like, in terms cool. of, you know, how much we've talked and, like, how much Puma's talking, all this kind of stuff. Because last week we had this thing where we weren't really making plans. Yeah. Which is really, really bad. Like, of yeah. course you'd be making plans, like, follow and this kind of stuff. So this week I feel like we have the plans and it's still not working. So yeah. I need to, like, watch the replay again just to, like, see what's going on. Sure. Am I the mistake? Is someone else? But generally speaking, it should be very easy. So. More so than any other week that I've ever done interviews, Everyone has said, I got to go back to the VOD <laughs> today, specifically today. I think maybe it's the pressure of like, this is the last week and people are doing position push, playoff push. Maybe it's because almost every team has made roster changes. Mm -hmm. And so the, the dynamic of how they function is different. But every team, like every interview has said, I need to go back and watch the VOD. I, yeah. This is what I think, but like I'm not 100% sure. Whereas like every other interview that I've had this year, even with you, it's been like, I mean, actually, you were like, God, it's happening again. You talked about flashbacks. Yeah, before. I, I, that was a flashback, you know? <laughs> I feel like you're just a player that plays with such PTSD, but if we could change, like, the, the, the traumatic visions that come back to all your triumphant, change the T to traumatic to triumphant, yeah. holy shit, you've got great memory, man. Yeah, Let's no, just think about all the smite bites you win, all the trundle, like, you know, chomps that you just fucking monster people. You, like, out, out fucking path everyone. Like, let's, let's bring those I back. I like that. Let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's do back. that. I like that. <laughs> I'll tell my coach that. Let's yeah. just do that. Yeah, let's just do Why that. Why not? It's yeah. so easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I, I'm, I'm already locked first place at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. I, I actually needed that. <laughs> no, but I don't disagree. You know, there's also a lot of happiness when we're playing. Yeah. The, the early game, oh, okay, I'm not that happy about it. Like, yeah. the Herald kind of be... The, the, this, I think a lot of it comes down to, like, the macro decisions, this kind of stuff, but... Yeah. There's still a lot of individual mistakes as well, you know. I so. think I think looking at the cams, it, it it felt like you guys were more comfortable. It definitely felt like hundred these were uncomfortable, if not a little tense, but they were uncomfortable. And I asked uh, Busio earlier, I was like, "Did you feel pressure to the situation?" He's like, "I didn't fully, like, I knew that it'd help if we won, if we got in playoffs, but I didn't really know compared to what well, you said. You're like, yeah, we win, we're in, we <laughs> lose, you know." That's okay. They still might lose, but you understood that, right? Mm -hmm. I think that's just the veteranness in in, in in your. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. For me, it's just like actually right now these games like it's not playoffs, but it's kind of like playoffs for me yeah. because we didn't even make playoffs last split. Right. And I felt like, dude, what the hell? Like we didn't even make playoffs. Like this is yeah. when we we're supposed to play the best League of Legends. This is where it actually matters yeah. because a lot of the time I've been on teams where it's like. Whether we're second, okay, second place, nice. Like first and second is nice for seeding, you know? Yeah. But whether you're third or sixth, ultimately it doesn't matter that much, like this yeah. kind of stuff. And then you're like, oh, let's try this draft on stage. Let's try this. Like try something we're not that good at. So we make the enemy team scared of like a certain composition or this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. But now I was like, dude, we gotta win. Yeah, we gotta like, win. Bring the big guns, like yeah. do everything you can to win. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's like, you, you, it's a little different vibe, but I, to some degree I kind of like it because like now you feel the pressure and that's like, as a competitor, this is like when it matters. The, the last last split was the first time you missed playoffs in in, in a, a oh. long time, right? Yeah. Actually, I did not prep this point, so, so like I don't actually know when it was. Yeah, so it has to be 2019 because all 2020 I made it, all 2021 I made it, 2022 I made it. 2019 was that TL? No, so FlyQuest was 20. What was what was that before? 2018. Where were you before FlyQuest? Oh. Where were you before FlyQuest? Were you? Wait, were you? oh yeah, I was FlyQuest 2019 as well. So, okay, 2018 I was in H2K and we were yeah, you're, and you're, I got kicked out. And then, yeah. uh, and then after that I joined FlyQuest. Okay, so I was FlyQuest and I made playoffs with FlyQuest too. Oh, yeah. 2018 and 2019, like, somewhere I'll, around I'll there. go look up the stats yeah, actually I, later. I, I actually don't know, but. Actually, you know what? We don't need that stat. <laughs> How many times were you first or second after FlyQuest and the, the Team Liquid? After? Yeah, 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 or like during, oh, during? during? after after uh, 20, 2019. Okay, so, so I mean, 2019 and on. Yeah, so I don't know regular season, but in playoffs, yeah. we were second, 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 second. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting depressed right now. Like, no, about wait, what? No, think about how second was compared to ninth or second. Yeah, I, I, I know, but I'm like, dude, we lost game five. We like, it could have been the first, you know. And we how many, how many all pros? <laughs> how many all pros? How many all pros did I vote you first or second? <laughs> I, I don't know how many you did, but a couple. Yeah, 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 like all yeah. those years, yeah. and I was like, yeah, Satori, no, it, like one, two, three, yeah. jungle, no, right? It's, it's happiness, you know? Yeah. But, but there's always that, like, as a competitor, you're always like, dude, 
No, dude, no, no, no. Dude, a TSM game five? Like we? No, no, no <laughs> way, man. No way, man. I mean, do you? I, do yeah, you I haven't won since 2015, bro. <laughs> like, do you and Jensen have these conversations? Do you, have you had this conversation yeah, with Jensen? Because this fucker would just wins, you know. Like he fucking won last year in C9, you know. Like yeah, yeah I'm like you, you got you got the Jensen Worlds buff, bro. You go. That's why we're going to Worlds. That's yeah, why I'm, going I'm, to I'm fucking stoked. Actually, <laughs> I, that's what I was thinking about this match. I was like, I don't know who's gonna win. I was like, oh, Dig has to win because Jensen. they're gonna they're gonna sneak in the uh, Worlds. There's always the way, and he always finds the way. So I just follow, you know. Yeah. All because right. last year I didn't make Worlds. He right. made Worlds. He did. And I thought I had a really strong team, and I didn't make Worlds. You so. did have a really strong. <laughs> But it's okay, you know? It's okay. When you live and you learn, and you learn from your mistakes. And but then I, you, you live through those moments that made you successful, and learn from that, and apply them. Yeah, and I'm trying to apply them, but right. it never goes to first, you know? R so that's okay. Not but, yet. But it's gonna come. It's coming. Yeah. It's coming. It's uh, coming. Filthy Frank and, and, and uh, <laughs> Poom are gonna figure it out. I gotta... Yeah. There needs to be... Filthy, a, Frank. Filthy Frank, man! <laughs> Where does that go, on, bro? dude. Filthy Frank. That also means FF, right? So... <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna make them FF. <laughs> he's gonna make them FF. He's gonna make them FF. Because you won't FF. Yeah. You always vote no. Yeah, uh, mm, really? Well, I mean, in so, you know, some games are kind of like you're playing jungle, like you're. Playing, I guess yeah, because you're a jungler. I, yeah. I always vote no. Yeah, like, but like as a jungler, it's kind of like you, sometimes you just hit that ten minute mark where, and you're like, damn, I think Irulina is flaming me at this point. I don't know why. Like I'm too zero, but it, the game is just somehow it's my fault. You don't mute. So I actually, I have accounts where I literally have full mute. Okay. And I, I never like see what they're writing or anything. Good. It's it's a blessing. Like, Good. Honestly, I really like. It. <laughs> Do you mute on stage? No. I, I love the banter. Like I actually love banter. Okay. So, but I never stop the banter. So if someone starts like talking shit, I will talk shit. All right. Who, I'm not the. Who are the banterers in our league? I mean, JoJo is the big one. I know. Okay. JoJo's so JoJo is the big yeah. one. Um. Damn, and then it just depends because sometimes I just like there's just friendships or something where people start shit against each other. Like sometimes, like uh, I feel like Jensen has a lot of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you feel this way? <laughs> no, but yeah, Jensen definitely like banters, and he also talks back. You know, like yeah. But just generally, like if that's like in EU, there's a lot of bantering, right? Sure. And that's like kind of where I came from a long, long time ago. Yeah. yeah. But I've always liked that part of it, and mm. also like sometimes. Toxicity is fun to see people like I don't want to be a part of it But sometimes like there, there comes some funny bantering out of it like because fi people find new ways to flame Yeah, and I'm like that's kind of genius, you know, but but at most of the time It's just like the same shit. I'm like dude. Why are you even writing like can we just please play the game? But once in the blue moon couldn't gank mid again. That's a Jojo <laughs> thing, right? Uh, why were you farming? <laughs> <laughs> Opponent on mid lane? <laughs> can we kill? <laughs> uh all right, Lucas. I'm so happy you got this win, man. Yeah, same. But um, you're you're on the path. Playoffs, so. it's there. Playoffs it's is real. There. Yeah, it's goddamn real this time. It is real <laughs> because last week we were like, okay, we just gotta, you know, we're six six, looking pretty good. Like, <laughs> and so we we're six nine, and we we're like, wait, guys, we're not even in playoffs. Yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, huge relief. Good. Yeah, uh, yeah man. Uh, last last question. Uh, <laughs> Ever been a little off the? Yeah. <laughs> no, but <laughs> that, that's what I like with all your interviews. Uh, <laughs> All pros. Who are your who are your top junglers? Okay, if you got to vote, who's your who's your captain? It's probably Jensen, right? Does Jensen get the vote? I don't even. Or is know. it you? Have you voted before on I any have, of your team? I have voted before, but I don't usually tend to want to be the vote because it just be, it's because okay, it depends on which team you're on. Yeah. But a lot of the time, like you do it as a team, right? You're like these are the people who want to vote. Oh, cool. So, sometimes, and then all the times, like you do it by yourself, <laughs> and then. Everyone else doesn't know if you're doing it as a team or by yourself. Yeah, you I, have, your teammate. I have always assumed it is the individual that gets. Yeah, picked. but sometimes you'll like be like, "Yo, what do you think?" Like, for example, like, I, how would I know who's the freaking like free best mid laners? For example, like sometimes like I, okay, I should know. You, you know? should know but, those. But sometimes those I'll two. sometimes I will ask and be like, "Yo, what do you think?" And then yeah. like if they explain it well, I'm like, "Okay, I mean, sure, I'll put someone else there." You know? Okay. So. Sometimes it is like kind of like biased by other stuff, right? So I don't want to have that name if I've been asking it around. But okay, if, but if I were to do jungle, if you were to do jungle, that's why I'm keeping it easy. Yeah. So I would do. God, am I doing river or blubber first? This is where it gets hard. Yeah. Because, like, that one is hard because I think both are playing really, really well. Yeah. One, two, who they are, river blabber. That yeah. makes sense. But yeah. what's the order? Yeah, that one is hard. I actually th that one I don't even know if I can commit to without actually like. 
I mean, uh, Rivers kind of been smurfing really hard, but Rivers has been smurfing. But Blabber has also been smurfing. So Blabber was smurfing it, all the way up it, until today. <laughs> it's just he, he was he was he was one of the guys that was like. I need to go back and watch the VOD. He, oh, you're I, like, yeah. I love, I love Chad with Blabber. He's yeah. down to do it in lose interviews, but in lose interviews, he's always just like, What's when, he, when are you going to let me go, man? Like, <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha ha, okay, d yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, damn. Uh, that one is hard putting me on the spot, but like, and who's even deferred? Let, let me just like think, because who would even put us deferred? Okay, let, let's mention junglers. Okay, so okay. River, if go, Blabber. Uh, if you go in order of, like ranking, uh, yeah. Yeah. evil geniuses. So that'd okay, be Shaden and Armeo. Uh, then after that, I think it's TL. So that'd be Kyoshik. And then after that, is it contracts? Okay, there's contracts closer. Yeah. Me speak. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'd probably I might throw Kyoshik in as number three. But I think there's for me like I think it's clear one two. Uh, yeah, like that's where like those two. I'm not sure which one is like number one. Yeah. But I think like there's like a little bit, and then Kyoshik. That, yeah. That's how. I see it, but he's also really good. It just, I just think like the way these two journalists have been playing in their team, like you can definitely tell they're shining, but they're also helping their team a lot and making yeah. them a strong team, you know? And you're such a good guy. You had to caveat that. Everyone knows that in the vote, man. You're not saying these guys are shit. No, I'm, I'm, Girls are shit. It's just River and no, uh, I'm, I'm, Blabber and I'm, me. I'm just, I was yeah, just no saying. No one's going to think that. No one's going to think okay, that. Okay, he's shit. I mean, you just said it. Like, I'm, now there's no point in me even trying to, you know. You already did the caveat. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. No, yeah. I agree. But I, I, I'm, no comment on who's number one right now. I, okay. I, need, I need the last two games. That's true. They yeah. do allow us to wait until, like, the. The Sunday, I think, yeah, and, and then I, we vote. But I don't know who we're... I don't actually don't know who's voting, so maybe it's not me. It's Here's the captain of the team. Well, Maybe. Maybe it if is. If you guys figured out who the captain of the team was, it would help with the, yeah, I mean, the I don't game have a, calling. If nobody has... Like, you know in, like, sports, Yeah, the armband. You have an armband. Or, like, the, just the, the captain. C for, like, hockey. Yeah, but nobody has on my team. I don't mm. know who the captain is. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's a conversation you guys should have. I need the goddamn the C. I'll, go, I'll go talk with Anatron yeah. and be like, hey, man... You I think that's a good idea. You're you need not, to have. You you're need you're to the, the alpha on the team. Like yeah. you, you make the decision. All right. You need to get work on the C and <laughs> change the T to triumphant. There you go. Post triumphant. Yeah. You, you need to have a talk to my coach. Yeah, I that, that'll help a lot. I think so. Yeah, There's we'll a lot do. Of bright ideas here. Yeah. I. You know what? Maybe I should just go back to running a team again. You know, no, I you, learned from my lessons from Golden yeah. Guardians. Like it can't be that bad. You yeah, know, we're the losingest like team in the history of LCS. <laughs> Totally now, who's negative now, huh? Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Let's focus on the positives. Know, yeah, yeah. Uh, Nine uh, wins. We started. We we started at three, three and one, and mm -hmm. then uh, I'm not sure if you remember, Mickey was running Smite oh, Talon yeah. mid lane, and then that got figured out real quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but three and one. That's a positive. Yeah. Seventy-five percent win rate. We were, Damn. and then we didn't win a game for the rest of the sport. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you didn't win a single game? Yo, dude. From 3 1? Yes, because I remember they did a segment Golden Guardians, first place, last to first. 3 1? At the beginning of, th of week three. Because remember, it was two games a week. Oh, right. Wait, and how then, many games was total? Was it 18 back then? Sir? It was 18. So we went from 3 1 to 3 15. <laughs> Damn, we're hitting like my spring split low like right now. I think, oh yeah. my god, we started at 0 9. You know what? No but, one really turns it around on me like that. But, you but know, also, you did it in a way that was it, not attacking me. Either. Yes. <laughs> You, you made me do it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Is that 14 losses in a row? That's Did you start 3-0 or 3-1? Uh, we started 3-1. So it was like 1-1 okay, so one and, one and then 2-0 yeah. and oh, or 2-0 and 1-1. Oh and one and, and then there's like 14 losses in a row? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe we finished four and fourteen, yeah, but it was yeah, like yeah. anyway. It was like <sighs> it was it was a lot of losing. Yeah, it was a lot but, of losing. But you live and you move on, and yeah. you get stronger, and you become yeah. an announcer and not run a team anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god! I'll just yeah. give me advice to oh, try to be like. <laughs> But I am like a total record of seven and whatever in my time working with Golden Seven Guns. and you doesn't matter. Yeah, I had seven wins. Yeah, seven wins. That's pretty good. That's more. We have seven. Now we just hit seven. All right, cool. So I know See? how you feel. It's yeah. pretty good. We could level with each other. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you go. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Lucas. <laughs> Always a pleasure. Congrats yeah. on the win, um, and. Good luck with the uh, Jensen Worlds buff. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate you. For more, keep it here on Degon Esports. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching this episode of Degon Esports. And you know, it hasn't always been easy getting my thrills since I'm a one man band doing everything here. So to get my thrills, I get them from Trolley Gummy Worms. You know, they want nothing more than for you to bite into their delicious, sour heads and bodies into pieces.
Mm. Personally, I like the raspberry blueberry flavor. It's really good. You should go ahead and get your own. Check it out. And get the mind warping, tongue twisting, sour thrills only at trolley.com. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Fuck, man. I totally forgot you guys lost that. Damn, we dude, lost like, a lot. Because I, wow.